ist ja Asphalt, das genau. haben wir ja schon. Das ist praktisch die neue. Ja. Ah doch, hier ist sowas, dass wir, da, dass wir da ja eine andere Nahrung drauf machen wollten auch. Genau, also das sind jetzt die ersten Sachen ja. Mhm. Ähm, der Hersteller, der kommt am Donnerstag und dass wir da noch mal ein paar Varianten einfach machen. Also da sieht man das einmal nach unten und einmal nach oben. Mhm. Und also so ein dunkleres Schiefer und, und Asphalt, also fast ein... Ja, aber es ist mein, schon dunkler als... das Blech haben? Das ja, weil dunkler als Asphalt sollten wir schon werden, also ja. als das hier, weil sonst ist das einfach alles ein bisschen zu nee, genau. Also Ja, Die Hops. This is the normal kind of brainstorming that happens at the beginning of a particular phase of design. And it's fun because you can see uh, how much we play. We've got everything some, from very logical, architectural, almost kind of thought out uh, solutions, all the way down into some, some playful things to uh, something like uh, something that's very blurred. You can barely even read it, but it obviously suggests speed and vibration and, and going fast even to uh, what some of our young designers were playing with, with a shark's face. So in the end, we don't really expect to have shark faces on the vehicle themselves, but uh, it adds character and kind of lets us loosen up, fits the motorcycle itself. So once we've done all of that, we go over to the motorcycle and realize that this type of motorcycle doesn't have a lot of surface to play with. You've got to have something that's just a little badge. So you've got something very small here that allows you very little surface to play with. And then that obviously adds something to this, which is very important. So something at the beginning where we were playing with big slashy things doesn't work. So little details like this are very important. How does that fit all of this? And at the same time, the proportions that I talked about, even details, air comes out of here. How do I make a statement even with something like that? So it looks very aggressive. Uh, we've talked about, obviously, uh, things like shark gills. That seems pretty obvious. We've even talking about almost the, the feeling of claws kind of tearing at the skin. Power's getting out, the heat's getting out. This thing wants to move, it needs cooling. So like, like uh, animals or people or, or machines, like this one, generating a lot of energy, generating a lot of heat, it's got to get out. So all of these features are very, very important in the motorcycle. The package is extremely tight. It's extremely focused on being a performance bike. It's a track tool. It has to do its best um, yeah, as soon as you enter the track or you, you take it to the limit. And therefore, a lot of the, the 
things for design is, is set up. It's set up by ergonomics, it's set up by, by all the performance factor from the rammer uh, inlet to where you have the foot pegs and how big the swing arm is and what the frame should look like. And therefore all the, the design work that we're doing, it's kind of, it's kind of coming quite naturally because everything is so integrated. This segment is a segment that we haven't been involved with. There's great competition out there. So the huge challenge is to get in there and at the same time be BMW. So that means what makes us different, what makes us uh, something that people want to buy, to get involved with, to ride. So the design of this motorcycle in the end is a very, very tight package. Uh, we can only push the envelope a little bit because then we go into an area that, that we shouldn't be in. Um, it needs to be unique, but it can't be weird. It needs to be um, unmistakable, but it can't be something that's too unusual. So performance, number one, and that, when you look at the motorcycle, you know that's what it's about.